I think from a young age I knew what I wanted to do and I was gonna do whatever I could to make that happen. Jackie Wiles was just two years old when she started skiing and she started racing on Oregon's Mount Hood when she was five. It was a, a fun family activity. My parents would take my brother and I to the mountain every weekend and my brother and I loved it so much and just wanted to go fast. And we wanted to go straight down the hill so my parents figured it was probably smarter to put us on the race team so we kind of joined a community with the race program and I never looked back from there. She decided she wanted to make skiing her career when she went to her first Olympics as a spectator when the Olympics came to Salt Lake City in 2002 and her family went to watch. Getting to see an Olympics in your own country, it was very inspiring and it was definitely where I decided that's what I wanted to do. 12 years later, she competed in her first Olympics in Sochi. Now, heading to her second in South Korea, she's training and competing alongside athletes she's looked up to for years, including one big name who has become her friend and mentor. Lindsay Vaughn's an amazing human and a great teammate and friend of mine. She has been such an icon in our sport, and I'm grateful to be a teammate of hers and you know, see what she's doing to be fast and try to learn as much as I can. In 2015, Vaughn picked Jackie as the first ever athlete ambassador for the Lindsay Vaughn Foundation. She noticed that I was unfunded and was having to pay a lot of my wages to compete for our country on the World Cup stage and she really took it upon herself to help me out and help fund my career. So now, heading into her next Olympic Games, Jackie feels more prepared both physically and mentally. The mental side of ski racing is huge. I think a lot of people underestimate that. I've learned a lot the past couple years about how to be more mentally tough. I've learned to meditate as well so I can kind of calm my nerves a little bit and try to practice just deep breathing to get myself in the, the right mental state that I you know, need to be in before I charge down the mountain as hard as I can. To prepare for each race, she eats healthy, she visualizes the course, she takes deep breaths, listens to some hip hop or rap music, and she thinks about getting on that podium. Definitely want to go to Korea and get a medal and you know, represent my country and have pride in that and bring that medal home to the U.S.